Hello, good morning. Listen, is there a global pandemic going on? Yes. Uh, should people be safe going out and about? Yes. Do I need to get out of the house and do something? Also, yes. So I'm going to go out and do something today. I'm gonna to take the camera along, but I'm also gonna go with some friends who decided to come and hang out. So we are going to go on an adventure today, and uh, I, I think we're gonna take baby Yoda. Kara, grab, grab Yoda, Yoda's coming with us. Baby Yoda's coming with us. All right, let's go. All right, we are at our destination. So we're here, Carly is really excited. <laughs> really excited that she gets to go for a walk. But because there is a pandemic going on, we, uh, we have to practice safety first, right? So does everybody have their masks? Yep. yep. Masks, check. One very short hour and a half car trip north on Interstate 75, and we are here at our destination in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Not Chattanooga proper, just a little outside Chattanooga, Tennessee. But I'm joined here with my very good friends, Jeremy and Kara from the Magic Geekdom. And we are gonna go check out Rock City. This has been on my list of things to come see and vlog for quite a while now. And it just worked out that they were able to come up and visit and we were able to make it happen. So I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. Yeah. Rock City Gardens. The Big Rock Grill. Probably gonna be closed. Don't think that they're gonna be open. <laughs> Look at this giant gnome. I thought you guys were supposed to be much smaller. That's frog. So as you walk in, they greet you with a photographer and they ask you if you want to take a photo. And we all just decided to keep our masks on. <laughs> so. I'm smiling under the mask. Yeah, yeah. Being safe, got some hand sanitizer stations here at Rock City. I haven't been here in probably about 15 years or so. And it's really cool to be back here. It's pretty fun. Uh, we just got here, so there's tons of stuff to see. There's a list of some safety procedures that they have going on here during uh, the COVID-19 pandemic here at Rock City, uh, just to keep you and others safe. So if you're thinking about coming out, Gotta abide by these rules. Yeah. Come on, man. You can't you can't stray from the trail. The sign right there says please stay on the trail. Come on. Look, look, look. This is the way. This is the way. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh. This is kind of a little bit of a tight squeeze. Oh, I forgot all about this part. He was able to fit, no problem. Do you, do you think they see us? Do you think they, they know that we're watching them? Oh, this bench looks pretty cool. I'm not going to sit in it, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Mushroom rock. That's fun. Well, that's pretty cool. If you come here, uh, you could scan this QR code, and there's a media tour that you could take through your phone if you wish to. But something else, as you walk through all of the gardens, there are a lot of uh, species of plants and bushes and shrubbery around, uh, and they all have really... In, uh, interesting little information panels that kind of tell you a little bit about uh, the plants that grow here in the garden. Right down there, that's where we walked in. So we kind of came through this way, 
right under the overpass and went that way. Made like a big circle. We just got started with the trail, but if you wanted to dip out early, there's a bypass and exit right here, but we're not gonna do that. We're totally gonna go and check out the rest of the gardens because that's why we're here. Ooh, this gnome door. A little too, little too big to be a gnome door, but that's what I'm gonna call it. Ooh. Goblin's underpass. Was unaware that we were going on our own Dungeons and Dragons campaign here at Rock, Rock City Gardens. It's kind of spooky down here. Do you guys see any goblins? Not yet. No? I'm on the lookout. All right. I didn't see one goblin. False advertising. There's a gnome hiding all the way in the distance over there. Keeping a watch over that, that birdhouse. Ooh. Listen, if my options are stone bridge or swing bridge, we're, we gotta go the swing along bridge. Right. Let's make it happen. Right. Baby Yoda also wants to do the swing along bridge. Hey guys, we picked a really nice breezy day to go on the swing bridge. All right, here we go. Oh gosh. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, oh, this train was sm No, go away. <laughs> was fun. I want to do it again. There's some houses right over there on the mountain. Can you imagine just like having that prime real estate where you can see out all this way? It's really far away so I had to really zoom in but there's a barn all the way down there that's advertising the place where I'm currently standing. So if I wanted to go to Rock City, they're telling me that I should go to Rock City. Jeremy and Jordan are going to go out to Lover's Leap, the point where you can see all of the states. And right at the top of Lookout Mountain, you can see seven states. A half a mile in that direction, Tennessee. Over in this direction, Kentucky to Virginia. Right over in this direction, North Carolina. Right over in this direction over here, South Carolina. And over here, back to the state where I reside, Georgia, and straight that way, Alabama. To say it's a little windy out today would be an understatement. Those flags went back and forth. And since you can view seven states from up here at Lookout Mountain, they have all seven states flags represented here on a flagpole, and each base of the flagpole to its respective state. Now the last time I was here was in 2005. And a friend of mine at, like took a picture of me and I didn't know that they had taken a picture of me. But it ended up being one of my favorite pictures of me from that time. So I'm gonna drop it in right here and you can see the sins of Jordan Gasly's youth. I wonder if I can recreate that photo while I'm here. Let me take, let me try.
That's probably about as close as I'm gonna get to recreating that photo. And here are all the states down here that you can see represented right here, the base of Lookout Mountain. Uh, Carly, Carly's standing on Atlanta because it looks like Carly wants to uh, move to Atlanta. Get one more shot of this gorgeous view. Looks like the Cafe 7 is open for business. Wait a minute, hold on. What does this sign say? Should, should I do it? Should I do it? Baby Yoda, should we get deep fried cookie dough? It's a nice little snack shop. You can get some glass bottle Cokes and some glass bottle Fantas here. But line starts here. We have socially distancing tape on the ground just to be safe. There's this old cigarette machine that was repurposed and it's an art machine, an art umat. I love like the nice 1950s, 1960s aesthetic it's got, but you can come in and buy little pieces of art. I think that's really cool. Sales of art to miners are not forbidden by law. Well, it worked out in our favor because if you order, or if you go and get an order of fried cookie dough, it comes three per pack. So we all lucked out that we only had to get one, one order. Baby Yoda, why are you laying on the ground? Ah. All right, wait, cheers. Oh, Boom, no. cheers. Sugar, sugar everywhere. Um. It's actually really good. <laughs> I might actually really it's like totally it. It's totally unnecessary, but it's pretty good. Okay, let me just have mm -hmm. a bite of that one and then we can have the other one. <laughs> yeah, I, all right. You got me, fried cookie dough. I love it. Mm. All of the powdered sugar has blown on my shirt. <laughs> all right, moving on. I have not seen one actual gnome since gnome. we started this trip. Where are all the gnomes? Where's David? It is a very tight squeeze. Yeah, when you do, I'm, oh, maybe it doesn't work in this one. The other one, I could get low enough that I could get through. Mm. Three, 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 three. Have a good day. <laughs> General Kenobi? Well, right up there is Lover's Lee. That's where we were standing a few minutes ago. We kind of went back and around. We kind of, we came out this little section right here. We get a good shot of Lover's Lee in that waterfall right there. I think we're going to try and get a picture on this little platform here in a minute. Oh, well, that explains it. No tag in the caverns. <laughs> I, for one, would love to know what known graffiti looks like. Oh, no. Somebody put these poor guys in gnome jail. Wait, was it, was it because they were graffitiing the wall? Were you guys tagging the walls? Yeah, you were, because we can see some of your handiwork way back on the wall over there. I like how there's this non-conspicuous actual house right next to the mystical fairyland caverns. This guy's gonna fall. Okay. The, the music in here got really ominous for a minute and then stopped. So I feel like we're in some kind of weird A24 movie. <laughs> oh look, no internet service. I hope this uh, cave monster doesn't jump out and get us then. It's, uh, no, no, it's fine. There's some candy in there, kids. Why don't you just go eat all the candy? No, def definitely not a witch. Definitely candy. Candy. It's, uh, it's a candy house.
feel like the one thing that this place is missing is a whole bunch of gnomes on my Ferris wheel. I've been wearing a mask for the majority of this vlog, so I really hope that I've been projecting my voice loud enough so where the audio shows up on camera. Because <laughs> otherwise, it's a bust. This is nice little leatherworks gift shop at the end of the fairy tale caverns. And I'm kind of tempted to get something, but I don't know what I want to get. I don't need this little pouch, but there's this pretty cool int character on this leather pouch. And a little kitty cat pouch. Ah, if you're a Dungeons and Dragons player, you got these dice bags here. Hey, do you guys want to do some pin trading? <laughs> Since we just got out of the fairy tale caverns, I had Mother Goose. There's a whole bunch of books here where you can read all of the, about the fairy tales that we just experienced. No, you go see Rock City. If you wanted to grab a bite to eat, they have the Big Rock Grill right here. I didn't think it was going to be open, but it actually is open for business, so I think that's pretty cool. Well, listen, you had me at fudge. Don't mind if I do. All right, Whew. I was able to take a mask break for a second here. But uh, this was a fun day, guys. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Did you enjoy Rock City? It was rocking. Oh. I'll, let it, I'll, let, I'll allow it. <laughs> All right. So if you guys haven't already checked out uh, Jeremy and Kara's channel, The Magic Geekdom, I'm going to leave a link down below. Uh, these guys have a great channel. You should go definitely give them a subscribe if you haven't done it already. But uh, I think that's going to be it for us today. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. Again, I always really appreciate you coming back and watching these videos. You could have watched any other video, but you use your time to watch this one. So I do really appreciate it. And there's a bug that's flying right in my face. Oh my God, don't sting me. <laughs> oh, blah, blah, blah. No. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So we'll see you real soon. So stay, stay spooky. spooky. All right. Yeah. <laughs>